Hi, I'm Ann Sagendor from The Power of Business and Style, and today we're going to talk about something serious about your business and about your life. One part of it is saying yes when you want to say no, and the other is how you step into the drama triangle. And both are really important. What I always say is if you're saying yes when you want to say no, you're probably in the drama triangle. <laughs> so let's just look for a minute. And what I want you to do is watch the video and then think about this for yourself. Look and see when the last time you said yes when you want to say no was. What did you do it about? And why did you think you had to do it? That's probably the most important question. Why did you think you had to do that? So that's the first part of this. The second part is the drama triangle. And I think what I'll do is share my screen so that you can actually see it. And I want to acknowledge uh, Gay and Katie Hendricks because I was, I'm a graduate of the Apprentice Program, now the Leader in Transformation Program. Uh, I graduated many years ago. <laughs> um, but I still use this work. And even before I was with the Hendricks, uh, I was trained in transactional analysis where the actual drama triangle first started. And so it's a really useful tool. We're going to talk about it in a particular way. So let me share my screen. I'm doing it right now. And here we go. So I'm going to move this so we can see it. <clears throat> so what you'll see is the triangle at the bottom. And when we get into the grip of the triangle, it's when we have a lot of drama in our life. So let's just talk about it from the top down. So, all, you know, you're in ease and flow and genius, loving what you do, feeling great about who you are. And then something happens, like somebody asks you to do something that you really don't want to do, and you say yes. <laughs> or you start to notice that you're beating yourself up. That's, that's the other one. In fact, the inner triangle for me inside, below relationship with other people, is actually the most important when I'm talking to my clients. Because what we do to ourselves in business, how we get into the triangle around our business is frightening. It uh, stops your abundance. And generally, it just makes you feel terrible. So something happens. You beat yourself up you're mad at somebody else, etc., and you drift right down, deep down into the triangle. So in the triangle, there's always drama. So that's why in some ways, when we talk to people in coaching, we ask them to talk in one and two out breaths, not to not say their feelings, please understand, your feelings are real. But when they start to say, and then I went to the grocery, and then my mother was there, and then I saw my friend, you get the idea. It gets off of their feelings and off of what is present for them now. And so when we're looking at the triangle, we want to look at the three parts. Victim, where you feel victimized and wronged. Villain, where you're the persecutor. And hero, where you're the rescuer. And usually, you know, I sometimes have to tell people, this is not the hero that is off fighting a war. This is the hero that just wants somebody else to shut up and so says, okay, I'll go along. Often saying yes when you want to say no is a hero move, just so you know. So we get into the grip of the triangle and then we wonder why things are not working, we're not in our genius and there is no ease and flow. The triangle by itself is one of the easiest ways to shut down your abundance that I know of. It makes you feel terrible. Um, you don't know how to get out, etc. So I'm going to uh, talk about it briefly here, and I want to talk about it in relationship to your inner self. So let's imagine that you just said to yourself, I am stupid. How your inner child hears that is you're stupid. Really take that in because that's what's happening inside you. When you say, I'll never make any money, or I'll never make enough money, 
what you're really saying is you'll never make enough money what's wrong with you etc etc you get the idea here you're sending you messages into your inner child and then wondering why you feel terrible when you villain and, and so what's happening here is that you're actually being the persecutor to your inner child Wow that is really important so when you say I'll never make enough money or I'm stupid or why isn't my business the way so-and-so's is you're actually being the persecutor to your inner child and your inner child is being victimized now that's gonna hurt you just you know obviously now when we go into hero with our inner self it's usually well I had a really bad day and I'm gonna go get some ice cream even though I'm allergic to dairy I'm allergic to dairy so I know this one firsthand <laughs> and I like ice cream especially chocolate sundaes on peppermint ice cream um, so I, I know this one but just notice that when you do it again don't beat yourself up you're not wrong or bad notice that's the choice you're making Wow I decided even though I was allergic to dairy that I was going to have a big whopping chocolate sundae because see I deserved it because I had such a bad day you know you get it right and so <clears throat> one of the things that I want to also talk about here is to notice maybe over this next week is when you have some outer relationship issues that you feel take you into the triangle and into drama when people start telling you a long story they are in the triangle and so notice how you experience them and notice how you experience yourself I had somebody uh, who's a client they were oftentimes heroing people and then they said to me but how I really feel is I'm gonna persecute them so they look on the surface like they're being nice and heroing and they're just getting ready to stab so notice what happens when people come with a drama or when you're in drama and see where you land in in the triangle now the other piece of this is and you'll see it here fight flee freeze and faint I want to talk about that a little bit it's easy to figure out the fight part and the flee part uh, you know I tend to be a fleer <laughs> I can fight too but my tendency is like to leave the room what I want you to really pay attention to is freeze and faint because that's personally where I used to live and usually that is caused by shame and so when we are freezing and um, we we feel like f we feel faint and we lose ourselves I used to go blank in the middle of conversations I could not think of what to say and that is usually caused by shame and the way we shame ourselves in our businesses ah see my business isn't very good I what's wrong with me etc 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 you know one of the things that I say about our own businesses is that your business is like your baby and one of the things when I'm talking about marketing is I say what we need to do is feed our business every day you know feed it whether it's marketing or whether it's doing our visualizations or whether it's saying wow you've come this far because what happens oftentimes with entrepreneurs is that they start a business and they are fabulously trained in their profession but they are not trained in how to run a business and how to make money and they start in the triangle see what's wrong with me see I haven't done this I'm behind blah 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 remembering all the time you're victimizing your inner child and then wondering why you may feel bad as you move through the day so what do we do so first of all the next session is about how to work in your genius 80% of the time so there's hope <laughs> the second is uh, we have some things on the page I'm not going to talk with uh, talk about all of them but I want to talk about I'll talk about the ones that uh, a couple that are easy for you to do without more information one of them is to recommit to who you really want to be in your life and just say you know I'm recommitting to this 
I'm better than this and recommit. The next is the wonder technique. I love the wonder technique. And one of the things that you can do is just move your body around. Because oftentimes, the neural pathways in our brain, we're saying the same thing over and over, like, gee, I'm not good enough, I didn't do it right, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So when you move your body, you actually allow new neural pathways to be developed. So you want to put your wonder technique in there. I wonder what choices I can make in order to create a business I love that's abundant. I wonder what choices I can make to, to bring my personal magic to the world. And just notice how that feels. The third is the yes breath. And it's a little bit hard to teach on this video, so I'm not going to do it. And then the fourth one is playing with personas. And so let me just give you an overview. When, we, when people are in coaching, we go through this very deeply. But just so you have something to play with. All of us have personas. Victim is persona. Vil, a villain is persona. Hero is persona. We have a persona that's really successful. I had a client once who said, I'm, um, oh, it was great. And I can't remember all of it. She said something like, oh, I know what it was. I'm a lonely loser. <laughs> and we, we interviewed that persona so that that persona could talk. And as a result, she could see when that was there and she could recommit to something else. But also, more importantly, when you let these personas up, you let them up into the light so that you're not doing it unconsciously anymore. Really take that one in. When we let our personas come up, and everybody has lots of personas, we have, you know, personas about how we want to look, and we have personas about how we don't look good, and we have personas about how successful we are and the ones that aren't, and the ones we got when we were children that we may still be playing out. And in my work, one of the things we do is start working with those so that you are not imprisoned by them. So, last piece of this. So what you'll notice is there's a shift when you recommit, when you do the wonder technique, uh, yes breath, and play with personas. And that shift moves you into an aha, like, oh, now I get why I was doing that, and back into genius and flow. You know, Katie Hendricks says it's a drift and shift world, and it is. And what we want to start doing is shifting before we go all the way into the grip of the, of, of the triangle. But if you do go there, you can do these things that I talked about, but also I forgive you for needing to go into the triangle. And I love you just the way you are. I love you. That will shift you as well as these other pieces I talked about. And then the last piece I wanna mention, I barely mentioned working in your personal magic, but I wanna spend a moment on it. Your personal magic is what you came to give. It's your genius, and it's the thing that you've come to give that nobody else can give. And if there was any homework besides checking in about um, the triangle and, and looking at when you go out of your genius and those kinds of things, and when you say yes, when you want to say no, the other thing that I would say is look and see, write down, what is my personal magic? And where am I using it? And where am I not using it? Where am I letting that slide? Because when you use your personal magic, you are happy. But here's the bigger piece for your business. When you use your personal magic, you are attractive to new clients, to your old clients, to money, to all of those pieces. And at the end of the day, you feel joyful. So thank you for joining me. I'm going to release this share so I can come back and say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. I love to hear from you. I'd love for you to subscribe to my YouTube because it's got lots of good information and it's really fun for me to do. I love connecting with you this way. Uh, go to my website, uh, thepowerbusinessandstyle.com and I'd love to hear from you. You can email me uh, at Anne, A-N-N-E, 
at beyondbusinessasusual.com. And if you're having issues in your business or with your clothes, because remember, dress for your future, Beyond Business as Usual, Dress for Your Future lives inside of the power of business and style. But if you're having issues that you want to solve and you want to go to the next level, I invite you to go to the website and make an appointment for a 30-minute free consultation. I love to do them. And I love to meet you. Whether you end up coaching with me or not, I still love to meet you. So thank you so much for joining me, and I will talk to you next week. Bye-bye.